The greatest poker show on earth is back with its toughest lineup yet and $1.25 million in the prize pool. This is the ultimate contest of the best in the world. I want to show the world I'm the best Hold'em player in the world still, now, today. I've just won the World Series of Poker main event and I'm here to prove that I'm not a fluke by winning the Premier League. The key is you have to be prepared to die if you want to win. There hasn't been a game of no one hold in a while where I didn't think I was the best player at the table. They don't want to lose to me. They couldn't bear it. I just can't help them in that I, I have an edge here. Success in poker is not about never falling, it's about rising every time you fall. If the cards break even in this Premier League, the fish is going to win it. If you want to come to the top table, you're going to have your credentials tested. In order to gain the respect from everyone else, you have to definitely win the title. There's nothing like winning a tournament. It's just the greatest feeling. That's what I'm out to do. I'm the defending champion. That's it. They have to try and beat me. What will happen when egos collide, pride is wounded, and one becomes the champion of champions? Poker is the greatest game in the world, man. The heart and commitment to the game. You're not gonna mess with a G. You gonna let me run you over? This is ridiculous. Come on, man. You're the one that's supposed to run me over. Oh, shit. Can I get another glass of wine? Is there another? One more glass of red wine. <sighs> Thank God. I mean, have you lost your mind? Seriously. Oh, fish, you said something oh. stupid. You know it. Are you trying to tell the world that you know more about poker than I do? Lock the door. That's how you do it. Now we got a game. <laughs> <laughs> I feel your heart? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Robots don't have a heart. You've got a beautiful tie. Yeah. You're good at telling people to ride bikes. That's Mike, let's opinion. get a ruling. What's going on here, Mike? You're yeah, losing complete control of the tournament. Show us how world class you are. I mean, he used to interview you, and now he's bullying <laughs> you on TV. <laughs> like you're nothing. I mean, you how you're really trying hard to be entertaining, but my God. <laughs> you better leave that to me. I'm a pro. <laughs> you how I can't shake your hand today, you. You've been too, uh, I did? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Hey, gold. I hate this. I hate poker. This is sick. Don't do it! <laughs> He's got me all confused. Tom. I'm talking. <laughs> Fucking hate this game. Got you guys all dominated right now. All right. You all right. A, you take a jack Here we go. Oh. You ever say anything nice to me, Annie? My girlfriend thinks you look like a chip on <laughs> what the fuck, man? If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Clap your hands, baby. One time. I'm not happy. <laughs> Starting to be pretty angry. I came to play. Let's make no mistake about it. I heard you were an aggressive player. I heard you were a calling station. <laughs> 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 if you're happy and you know, clap your hands. Right Am I right getting out of line? Right Give me a warning. Welcome to the Party Poker Premier League Poker 3. It's an incredible lineup of players this season, and the buzz and hype surrounding this event is huge. This is the title that everyone wants to take down. What makes the Premier League special is not only its superstar lineup, but of course its unique league format. Let's take a look at how it works. It's a 12-match league season, at the end of which the point standings determine who goes through to the final table. The top four point getters go straight there, automatic promotion, while the middle four are in the playoff zone. Fifth through to eighth will play heads up matches to get those final two tickets at the six seater final table. The bottom four in the league get relegated straight home. Points mean final table chips at a conversion rate of $10,000 per point garnered in the league. Let's take a look at the scoring. Each Premier League match allocates 25 points in the league standings. The winner of the table gets 10 points, runner-up earns 6 points, 3rd place gets 4 points, 4th 3 points, 5th place takes 2 points, and 6th place gets the bagel, the big zero. In the event of players tying on points at the end of 12 matches, the player with the highest finishes will be ahead. And there's prize money at stake as well, as each point earns a player $2,000 in cash. Bring them in for this first heat of Premier League Poker. Thrilled to be joined by someone who will be playing in this event, lovely Vicky Corrin. Vicky, are you anywhere near as excited as me? I couldn't sleep last night. I'm beyond excited. It's the lineup, and it doesn't get any bigger than the World Series yeah, champion, yeah. Peter Eastgate. And in seat number two, someone everyone knows a lot about, but maybe not live, is uh, Annette 15 Overstock. I love this kid. I'm not looking forward to playing against her. In seat number three, uh, everyone knows him on the other side of the pond. But on this side, he's never played in Europe before, J.C. Tran. In seat number four, they'll always be gunning for the Devilfish. 
Yeah, he's always going to be the best, isn't he? Traditionally so unlucky in this Premier League format, well, but yeah, he's got to do it eventually. And on his left is the defending champion, Andy Black. And uh, rounding out this top half of the field is Roland DeWolf. You can see the chips on the table. Yellow's worth 1,000, blues are two, reds 5,000 each. There's 100,000 in front of every player and 600K in play. Yeah, I mean, here we go, off and running. And Vicky, I think what makes this Premier League great is lies. Not the little ones, but the big ones. It's all lies. I mean, you should have seen him this morning. You know, nice to see you. They didn't mean it. I'm going to play tight. They're not really. Not a word that comes out of these mouths is the truth. I'd be really interested to see uh, how Eastgate and Annette, uh, how they're going to handle this. They look a little wide-eyed right now. Well, they're young. Weren't you wide-eyed when you were young? <laughs> oh, yeah. But, I mean, look who they're up against. Eastgate's raised from the button here called... In both the blinds, this is a bit of a powerhouse between the three. 15,000 in the pot. Ooh. And that's hit. Check. But th what is fascinating is the chance to Check. watch Peter Eastgate play. You know, he won the World Series. We don't know how he plays. None of the people at this table know how he plays. I mean, this is fantastic. This is, this is a dream. It's like when you want to look through the window of your best friend's house without her knowing. How about this? How about the fact that the first pot we've got is the three players oh. who have not played this format yeah, before? I mean, everybody says you have to play tight early. Um, now, both these players have about 10% of their stacks in. Is it too much? And that's flop top pair. She's check called the flop here. Is she being, she's being very careful, obviously. I wonder if there is a bet that can get paid here. I'm guessing no. It's not a not much he could have well, that uh, seven's feet, isn't it? Yeah, there weren't any draws on the flop. You know, Eastgate can't think she's called with any kind of flush draw or straight draw on that board. No, he's got away. And first blood yeah, is for Overstart. Sure. 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 Youngest player in the Premier League, Vicky, and she's had the best start. Norwegian Annette Overstart is regarded as one of the best online tournament players. She's also proved her credentials live by winning a million pounds and the World Series of Poker Europe title at just 19 years of age. I have a lot to live up to, and I think there's a lot of pressure on me in this tournament to do well, so I'm going to do my best to, to do what people expect me to do. Being a girl at a table with nine boys, it, it can be intimidating at times. It just depends, like, what you think of yourself, and if you do have the confidence, you can easily beat them. You like to talk trash about people when they're not around, and I know I shouldn't be doing that, and I have been doing it in interviews and stuff, and I kind of regret it because I get a lot of shit about it in other forums and stuff, so I've kind of stopped doing it, so I'm trying to like show respect to the players, but it's a little hard if I think they're really, really bad. And I don't want to sound arrogant or anything, but uh, you know, since I have that much experience playing in heats that, or sitting goes like this, I, I just can't help thinking that uh, I, I have an edge here. I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, winning the first heat is huge, but you know what? Getting knocked out first and putting that first How's bagel that? on the board, that's going to put you in a tough that. position in this Premier League. Well, yeah. it's a psychological thing. I mean, <laughs> hello. Look at this. Now, Annette is one of the people who did say she was going to play tight early, as you say, Jesse. You know, there was just not a trace of truth in it. And the first time she has raised the devil fish's big sure. blind. It came straight back at her. <laughs> it was only a seven. Listen, they might all talk about their blinds aren't for sale, but mine ain't for sale. Yeah, he's trying to make a point. Don't bully me. He's pleased with that, yeah, isn't he? Yes, <laughs> that's how we wanted to start things out, isn't it? Yeah. He act like he was looking for a seven. I think he's going to have a good series of matches, Devilfish. He's been unlucky here a couple of times before, but I think this time he's going to have a great tournament. You're like me, Vicky. We both agree, don't we? When the Devilfish puts on the suit, he's here for business. This is absolutely the thing. He looks like a man who's going to take it seriously. Pass. He looks great, actually. Pass. And uh, Annette, who raised the 10-6 suited on her button like last that. hand, now has decided yeah, to take it even. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't think I had an enemy, you see did what you? I'll do to try and get well, It's out. interesting. Devilfish, at the beginning of the match, <laughs> immediately showed that he would re-raise <laughs> if his blinds were nicked. You know, and JC Tran just limping with the ace on the button. Yeah. It's, a two, it's a 200,000 pot. They're always drawn to two pair. <laughs> Ten <laughs> has <laughs> hit the fish. 6,000. Oh. I'm guessing this is going to take the money. I know... 
absolutely nothing about JC's game. What do you know? Well, I like this uh, pass from JC Tran because a lot of people would think they want to get stuck in early and make a big noise and you just limp with the ace. Why not raise with it? But actually, it's perfectly good strategy at this point. Try and hit something. If you don't, wait till later. Premier League newbies on the left side of the table, old guard on the right. And I can't remember ever seeing a table this tough on television before. Pass. to 5,000. JC Tran, cut off raise. Pass. Call. <laughs> I mean, one of the really exciting things is going to be to find out how quickly these players adjust to the format. <laughs> the wheels are off. Here's Eastgate peeling off the big blind with the Jack 8 suited. I mean, it's not a huge pop, but it is 5,000 <laughs> per player. You wouldn't expect 8 5 to be. Uh... Well, that's nice for JC Tran. He's hit the ace. I seriously don't remember what happened. See, I play in the dark a lot, guys, so... Does he want nice to play to this, that you're so... taking the, the competition seriously. Check. Well, I was going to say, uh, if I were him, I might well, check fast. it, because he might fast. be concerned that someone's called him with a bigger ace, but, you know, it's improbable that if he bets out and gets a large race, he's in an uncomfortable position, <laughs> whereas he's controlling the pot size here. He thinks he's good, but he doesn't want to get things out of hand. I mean, not just that. Look, he's, he's gotten action from a guy who's only drawn to two outs. This is very profitable, what's going on for him right now. Yes, it is, and Andy Black may think that this deuce on the turn is good for him. He may think it's a blank, and his sixes are winning. I tell you what, JC can't beat much but a bluff. I know he's got the best hand. Is this going to be under the heading of a defensive bet? I think that's a good little value bet. I mean, he was last to speak. He could have just turned his hand over, but a good value bet. And look, the stubbornness of Andy Black. He will not throw the hand away. How could he pay him off? It's Tell sheer, me. it's stubbornness. That's what it is. Andy can be a bit of an old goat in the stubborn stakes. Marty! Marty! They're going to laugh at him hard. It was the check on the flop that got him... Uh, Sucked in there for about 30,000. There's only about four players com commenting something during the hand, yeah? And look at that. Andy is ruffled. He's called over the tournament director complaining that other players made remarks during the hand. Annette did it. Roland did it. Well, whatever. Any, any of that stuff. It's just not on, yeah? Yeah, that, that's fair. That's He's fair. rattled and ruffled right from the start. No, I mean, commenting, oh, Andrew looks weak. Or, you know, it's just totally not on, yeah? Andy as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, There's a lot of things he can complain guys, about, but he can't complain about them calling the him a, uh, no looking like a fool right now, can they? Well, he's okay, angry that he thinks the remarks the were made during the pot, the and hands, technically he's correct, but for heaven's sake, Jesse, when Devilfish turns up to a match, he's not looking for advice from the other players. JC Tran can make up his mind without listening to anybody around him. You're 100% you're right, Vicky. I mean, uh, we play the rules of best intentions here, and being that this is the Premier League, uh, there's going to be a little more leeway given about players talking between hands because these guys are all world class. They're not taking advice from others. <laughs> they're not just world class, Jesse. They're, they're a bunch of panto dames. If there was a rule that they couldn't speak, half of them would have to go home. Pass. <laughs> Pass. They wouldn't have made it in the London poker scene circa 1965, would they? Mm, certainly not. I could have Hello? I could have put AC the same way, right? Raised to 6,000 total. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's most likely. Pass. Well, that's Pass. very unlucky for Roland, isn't it? He's uh, raised from the button and they've just passed. I'm in. I'm in, boys. The Did he show them? The no. In, in dark. He didn't show them. He's trying to suggest that he raised with a weak hand. He looks focused. Yeah, when Roland's on top of his game, he is absolutely the one to beat. I feel like Roland is the guy and Jesse, is it? who is most... Well, it's been a good start, Vicky. Pass. <laughs> Pass. I think he's most convinced that tight I've is right. I've had some hands there. Early. Well, this is because exciting. in Series 1 of the Premier League, Roland played oh. too loose, too wild. And he tried playing tighter the second time around. worked out much better Raise for him. 7,000 more. JC Tran has limped in the small blind here, and look at the devil oh. fish. I'm one of those guys that... Well, devil uh, fish has, really has taken the raise. limp as weak. He thinks it's an <laughs> opportunistic <laughs> completion by Tran with a weak hand. He's raised it up, and Tran's called him. Really raise on the blind. He's a sag. 
sick Asian gambler. JC Tran is a That's very it. analytical player. He's got a he very good sense right of now, situation. Right? He's got good reads, even against the Devilfish. Not an easy man to read. And he's got the Devilfish on the hook here. 11,000. He really does. <laughs> this is the second time oh. wow. that JC Tran has played the aces, the sort of the raggedy ace in a, in a kind of clever fashion. He's maximized it both times. Yeah, I think the fish will probably switch off now. I think, you know, he bet about two thirds of the pot, I think it was, on the flop, got called. I, th I think he's going to throw the hand away. Very honest comment from David there. That's killed my plan. Not that's killed my hand, it's killed my plan. What was your plan? I can No, what was your plan, though? No, I said, killed my play, I said. Oh, your play. I thought you said your plan. Like no. you I think he did say his plan. <laughs> I think he did, too. <laughs> I think he's a bit sorry he said that. <laughs> I, I, I know you're going to stop people talking when they're when they're when they're Look at this. I mean, we're only a few hands in, and we've also, uh, we've already seen raising with no hand, <laughs> I mean, calling with a half voice. a hand. I they didn't come here to watch, did they? Thanks for all that. That's good. That's my favorite hairstyle. I was talking to Annette before this started, and, and she feels like her biggest advantage is in the fact that many of these players just don't play the short stack well. Look at this. Eastgate with the under-the-gun raise and Tran with the big tear. Slow playing. Yeah, just calling. I mean, what's interesting, Jesse, is that traditionally players who think they're the best at the table, who have an advantage, want to keep the pot small. Small ball poker, control it after cards. The difference here is everybody thinks they're the best player at the table. <laughs> And this could be trouble for Eastgate. Check. Well, Check. the king is really a good card for Eastgate because it might make JC Tran nervous. But both of them have got to put some more chips in this pot before it's over. The guy had all the chips in the main event. Oh, now Eastgate, the man handling of the chips, traditionally a sign of a weak hand. I mean, even in a world champion. This is such a much more important pot for Eastgate than Tran. You know, he's got 150,000 right now. Eastgate's on about 80. Well, I love this call from Tran. If he's winning, all he needs to do is call. There's no point raising and making it huge if Eastgate wants to represent the king. Right, and the way, the way that uh, JC has played this, he's going to maximize value, it looks like, yet again. This is a fascinating river card. JC Tran knows, because it went check and then bet, that Eastgate either hates the king or loves it. Now what's got to work out which? What sort of bet is this from Peter? Does he actually think he's going to turn these cards over and win? Might be a good card for me. Well, it may be a stopper bet from Eastgate. He may feel that he would have to call a bet from Tran with the nine in his hand, and he doesn't want it to be too huge. So he puts in the stopper bet. Sure enough, Tran just calls him down. Okay, Whereas if enough. Eastgate checked it, it's possible that Tran would make a much bigger bet that he'd have to call. He'd have lost more chips. Chasey Tran, he's beat him on his left. He's beat him on his right. He's beat the World Series yes, Poker yes, Champion yes. in the hand, and... Uh, I'll tell you what, he's on a canter right now, isn't he? 184,000, we're still in the first level. This is the guy the poker players all name is the one to look out for. JC Tran's been on a phenomenal run the last few years. WPT champion, player of the year, and a WSOP bracelet winner. And he keeps his success in perspective. Growing up, coming from my type of background, you know, a background that we didn't have much, and now you're not going to pretty much get whatever I want and have whatever I want. It um, kind of brought me back down to earth. It kind of make made me more of a, a humble guy. Before, you know, I see a lot of guys, they win a tournament, they get really cocky, you know? And that's not me. I mean, a lot of these guys, they they win the money and they don't, they forget where they come from, you know? And they, they just become like a whole new person. In order to gain the, 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 the respect from everyone else, you have to definitely win the title. And I definitely want to gain respect for myself. I mean, I do respect myself as a good, tournament player, but I'm not going to respect myself as a champion if I don't win. I want to prove to myself that I, I can I can play it worldwide, not just in the States. So, you know, come this week when I play with these guys, you know, I, I, I'm playing for myself more than anything. I mean, if I walk away second or third, I still might be disappointed. I want to win, and that's what I'm here for. Well, JC Tran with the chip lead has already moved up a gear. We're still on level one, but he's starting to raise early with King 10, and that's just the muscle that his chips provide. <laughs> Absolutely right. He's not just raising. He is now opened up his gob, too. He's starting to talk to this table, isn't he? He's feeling good. And once again, Andy Black 
A little bit stubborn. He is calling with the threes. Not sure what he plans to do on the flop. Do you get the feeling that Andy Black has to win this part or else he's going to be out? I think Andy would have very much liked to win it. But look, JC's gone in front. Sports car. Oh, don't fall for it again, Andy. Don't. Well, he hasn't fallen for it. I think it's possible he was calling the raise to try and flop a set. Yeah, there was this sort of talk about how long was it going to take before Andy Black had one of his infamous blow-ups. Could it be three hands into the Premier League? <laughs> it could be at any moment. 7,000. Pass. Well, it's a good quick pass from Andy Black there. He was trying to flop a set. <laughs> Something I may say that he's criticised me for trying to do in the past. <laughs> it's, it's, good, it's not good for us that he's struggling. If he'd have had a, if he'd I have think had it is almost literally right the pot calling the kettle like black. This is how you do it, isn't it? It's better from behind. <laughs> That's right. He's smiling, but he's not feeling. Not feeling it yet. He really that? wants to leave the table and have Hi. a good meditate. Better? Good. good to and you? Better. It's good. We like to make, <laughs> make you feel welcome. <laughs> oh, I always feel welcome yeah. when I'm playing. But you know Andy Black, he's like Goran Ivanisevic. You know, it just depends which Andy turns up. He can play brilliantly and he can go nuts and throw it away. And, and sometimes both can turn up in the same seat. <laughs> chance of catching that actually never actually get a woman. <laughs> I think you've actually got to have sex to catch that. Vicky, um, obviously JC are up to, off to a great start, but I mean one of the great things about this Premier League, this league <laughs> format, <laughs> is that uh, it's only, it's only a you know with the points I mean, uh, given out for every <laughs> place, <laughs> yeah, everybody oh, knows they have to yeah, still yeah. hang on, you know, even if they're at a disadvantage. They do, but there's such a big jump. The top two spots giving 10 and 6 points. It's really key to lock one or two of those up. You know, it's no good. You can sit around and try and collect two points from each heat. That won't get you to the final. True, though, we've seen, though, and when it gets down to the end, sometimes even one point can be crucial, and that two points for fifth versus the bagel. Just over half of the first level gone in this first Premier League match. What do you make of it, Vicky? Peter Eastgate, the world champion, already down to half his stack. That's been shoveled in the direction of J.C. Tran. You wouldn't normally expect to see such a differential in chips this early. Both Black and Eastgate, the pain that has been put to them has been courtesy of J.C. Tran. Although you have to say, J.C., if there's one thing about his game, it looks like he lets other people hurt themselves. Well, he knows that there are a lot of big egos in this tournament, and sometimes checking to let them try and do something creative is the most lucrative way. Now, this is a bit of a confrontation. Yeah. You know, the money could all go in here. It really could. I mean... An insta call from the Devilfish. Well, he, mu he must call Jesse because Peter Eastgate only had 48,000 at the start of the hand. He absolutely priced in the fish. And he's got the best hand. This is going to be the real test for Devilfish. Is he going to be lucky or unlucky this time around? It is. And for the World Series champion, uh, he could get the first bagel. Devilfish is so superstitious. I know that if the ace or the king comes down, it's going to crush him at this point. He's going to feel that he's going to get unlucky again over the series. They have talked it up for him. They have talked it up. I think the other players would prefer Eastgate to win the pot. <laughs> no diamond in either hand. You can see Eastgate down out of 22%. He needs the ace. He needs the king. Oh! So obvious. I mean, who, who's worried about that? Luckily for Devil anyway. the eight of diamonds is still working <laughs> for him. So he's got two outs. <laughs> he's taking it pretty cool. Hey. <laughs> the ace <laughs> and the king. <laughs> they hit him twice on the turn and the river. He's outdrawn six and a half thousand people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, Jesse, this is going to really damage Devilfish's faith in himself at this early stage. He is going to feel that the luck is never with him at this particular table. <laughs> Roland just said he's just out, he's out drawn six and a half thousand people. He think he was going to have a problem against the Devilfish. It was a straight race, Vicky, but the ace and the king came. Put all that pressure on with the, uh, the ace queen. And that was after an under the limp race. And then right. Devilfish yeah, is reduced to 40,000 in chips, really so I mean, like, wow. every time he plays a hand, he has to be careful. It, it was, it he's was, got yeah, a very dangerous seat as well, because, yeah. <laughs> well, because he's got Roland the Wolf in the big blind. 
Yeah. What was your stack, Mr. Elliot? Roland wants to know the stack size because he's trying to work out how is he going to get all of the chips in. Does he do that by just calling, just trapping? Does the devilfish have a chance if Roland raises to re-raise all in? Does he have enough chips for that? I mean, Vicky, one hallmark to Roland's game last year, he probably slow played something like 75% of his big pairs. Well, he's doing exactly that again, just calling. He'll probably check any flop, Roland. But Devilfish really needs a king here. Oh, oh my check. gosh. Check. Oh. Well, I think the wolf would have checked any flop, but definitely that one. 10,000. Such a big hand that he may give the Devilfish a chance to catch another card to go broke on. Yeah, I mean, if Roland flat calls, I don't know quite what he's representing. Again, there's no draws on the flop. Yeah, but Ten? now, you, I mean, tournament life at that point cool. is like... Oh, he's got him, and he is enjoying this right now, Dwarf, isn't he? Devilfish has to hope no king, no four, no diamond, or he's definitely all in, and he may be anyway. Painful is it right now to be Dave Devilfish only at... Check. Yeah, good instincts from Elliot. He knows that the call on the flop signified something. Check. King Eye. Well done. <laughs> he did that even. <laughs> Roland gave him another chance to hang himself on the river. And uh, I'll tell you what, the devilfish didn't fall for it. Well, he knew, Jesse, the rueful tone. King Eye. You know, that is the rueful tone of a man who knows, once again, it's not looking like his day. His bluff is hard too, though. Hmm? Yeah, that's what I meant. Hard. That's what I meant. Yeah. So I mean, he could have had. He could have just had a king, and, and and checked behind on the turn. Now this looks like a real hand. Then if there's one guy who is not interested right now in talking right about Peter Eastgate's yeah. play at the oh. final table of the World Series, it's Dave Devilfish. Oh. It. He is not going to participate in this part of the conversation, oh. is he? Yeah, Roland's not in. Well, why is he limped in here, Vicky? He's only got about twelve big blinds. Uh, to be honest. He, I thought he had a bigger hand than Top that, set, but I right. suppose he wants to control the pot size. He doesn't want to put himself all in pre-flop with Jack High. He just wants to give himself another chance to get back in it in case he flops a big pair, a, a big hand as well. well he lucky he Check. didn't flop a Jack. Check. Five ways this one is. And Five thousand. Ace High winning for uh, Annette and JC Trent, but Pass. they've both passed. Yeah, first Pass. to bet. And the 5,000 from Peter Eastgate. Well, he, have like, he had like 11 or 10 or 11 He's minutes actually, left, I mean, during this first level, point, he's definitely he been the guy who's been sort of well, yeah, making man, the most man. moves. So 14. Yeah, he could yeah, have well, well, you know, he collected $9 million for, for the yeah, world the, title. The he can afford to make moves. It just, it didn't put me on a, such a strong hand, like a full house or, yeah. or trips. He put, put me on queens or jacks. Yeah. First level's done. Two and four thousand, and Dave Elliott down to oh five big blinds or so. Really through no fault of his own. I mean. No, it's not his fault. I mean. People are flopping sets against him. They're hitting their ace kings against them. They got a ward. There's one great thing about this. Well, there's a lot of great Pass. things about the Premier League, but everyone gets six matches. Pass. And Annette. Pass. I like that pass. Roll in. Now, if Andy sees this as the... Uh, no. I don't want to show with Anna, but I don't want to show with anybody else with these fucking filthy things. But Andy would have called with quite a wide range there. He must have just found real rubbish. Yeah. And uh, it was a great, I mean, as you said, a lot of people would have made a little sucking chips in with the net's hand, and uh, she would have had to get on against the Devilfish, and that would have cost her. Real nice kid from uh, London with a black hair was playing on it. And there was a pot I was in against with him, and I was studying whether to call his all in for about three minutes with two eights. And I said, I don't like to call with this hand because it's my own lucky stand. And he thought I was kneeling him at the end when he saw my hand. But I won't. I mean, I just, I just don't like eights at all. It comes to a point where there's so many on the back situations in these things. If you can't win them, you've got no shot. Which is why I've, I ain't done no good in it for quite a while. Very nice hand for JC Tran. I tell you, he is getting a really good start to his Premier League. Oh, now it could be all in for Devilfish here. Well, it's an under the gun raise. Yeah, but I don't think he can afford to pass the hand with the strength with the chips he's got. It's a question of what's. Well. Only because you're first position, but if you'd really wow. I'm wrong, you're right there, Jesse. No. 
Well, bit, I mean, what was the argument there for the fold by the Devilfish? The fact that he, he had he couldn't get uh, his chips in in first. It was basically second. I mean, well, as you said, he he feared the first position raise. He knows that J C Tran didn't get a pass. If he goes all in, it's an immediate call. And because it was a first position raise, I guess he was frightened of, of a bigger race. It was probably one of the very few hands that he was dominating. Oh yeah, I got that many chips. I just want to get it as quick as I can. The problem, of course, about the Devilfish is he may not really find a better opportunity now to get his chips in. He's, he's down to 20,000. He's going to be paying 6,000, Vicky, in the next two. Yeah, but he still wants to get his chips in first. Actually, it's quite funny how they said to you, you got to get a bit funny Pass. on TV. He, he never ever is above the commentators, isn't he? Pass. I mean, he he'll still have, the on the TV. what, 14,000 after the blinds. Especially when you get, especially when you get probably, Could make somebody pass for that. anything. Raise 9,000 tokens. Obviously, a situation where position is more important than cards to Peter Eastgate. Pass. No, 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 he's no, been successful. Passing, I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh, has he not been successful? Kind of hard to pass for five the, more. the bluff pass. Wow, it was the bluff pass from JC Tran. Looked like he was sliding them away, exactly. but no. Eastgate can't imagine he's actually in front at the moment. Both Annette and JC very suspicious of Eastgate here. It, it has to do with his raising frequency, doesn't it? Well, also, he didn't raise quite enough for Eastgate. I think he okay. he made it 9,000, and JC had already put in four, so. How will JC play this? He's checked it. Is this a check raise or oh. check call? This time I think it's a check raise. He's check called before when he's paired his ace, but I think this hand is a little too weak to give the cheap turn card, so I would imagine cool. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Yeah, it's pretty gutsy. I mean, it's going to be hard for JC to find a card on the turn that he likes. You might be hoping for the <laughs> well, that's one. What yeah. do you know? It's an undercard and a diamond. Check. That is one of the very few cards that he would like. And Peter's basically done with this hand, isn't he? Must maybe, must maybe he paired on the river. Yeah, I think if he's got a bet turn and Check. river, he might have collected it. But now any bet he makes will be called. It's a, it's a clever little I'm check by JC. Ready. Yeah, he. Uh, so you can throw it away without showing it? <laughs> <laughs> or 9, 10 or something? He's getting really doesn't want to show his hand. Can we see this hand, please? No. Yeah, we're allowed to. Come now, can the devil is just hand. asking yeah. to see Peter Check Eastgate's me. hand, which in a cash game would be considered very bad form, but here, Wait, Michael, money, you know, Devilfish feels that technically the hand can be shown hand, right? and the players deserve the opportunity yeah. to find out what he raises with. Yeah, he's well entitled, and of course... <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, knew so so, I knew it was something like that, but I guess... <laughs> All the players will be able to find out after. Yeah, One of the great things about this Premier League, they're, they're watching in the green room when they're not in. We're watching here. They can ask questions after. All the information and history gets revealed, doesn't it? Yeah, and what I like to do is give them false information. So he'll come up, what did he have when I passed the ace nine? He had ace ten. This kind of thing. <laughs> Just mix it up a bit. It's actually disrespectful to the blinds to raise with us. You just think that they're so easy you can outplay them. No, I take no I'll learn my lesson. <laughs> it's just so far ahead this month that he doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. It was like a heat check. Awkward Peter Eastgate that he's had to show such a terrible hand. He started with it head. is, and the yeah. devil fish is looking at him hand. like, yeah, look, kid, uh, <laughs> you, know, you just did that. It's my big blind now as the devil fish has given Two Peter Eastgate a stare. Two Don't be raising me with a 3 8. I mean, you just can't be doing it. Yeah, this would be a nice time for Peter Eastgate to find a pair of 10s. Yeah. I was watching Ivy play online and there was a big pot and he had a big decision on, on the end and he's like, fuck it, I don't know if I should call. He's like, fuck, I've got a lot Now of your money. average player <laughs> would quiet down yeah, after exactly. having just shown the hand that Peter Eastgate had to show, but he's not the average player. He won the World Series. He, he may keep on at it. I'm going to call. I've got a lot of money. Pass. I <laughs> think you're right. Pass. <laughs> and this is a hand that Annette is certainly going to be willing to take on the Devilfish's short stack Raise with. Raise 9,000 total. Pass. Yeah, if Devilfish goes all in, of course it's a call. Right, and actually, they'd be kind of racing. Then. Devilfish is not in as bad a spot as he might imagine. Really? Thanks a lot. If he knew what she had, he would stick the chips in. But Thanks he knows that she knows that he's liable to call with a wider range of hands than normal because he's short stacked. So he knows this is not a complete bluff. If there's an argument for folding, you know, what, what, what is it, Vicky, that 
You know, if he go, lets the blinds go through him, someone else might get knocked down. If the big blind is 4,000, if the blinds go past and Devilfish can make it 14,000, then, you know, players don't want to put in 10,000 with no hand. It would be an automatic call normally, but I think it yeah, You know, he still has the opportunity <laughs> to push <laughs> someone off the pot if he gets his chips in first. He in won't after the, the next call. round, but he does for now. Flop. I still wasn't, wasn't going to fold. I was never going to win. You just wanted to see a flop? Yeah, I jack eight in there. Oh, I had a good hand. Oh, it's a, not a good hand, but you a flop for 5,000 if you've got a few chips. Yeah, but you don't have chips. Yeah, well, that's Amanda's, <laughs> that's Amanda's fault. <laughs> Devilfish on the hangman's noose. And everyone's giving him the rope right now. Yes. Blinds go around. Yes. You do know we can? Pass, yeah. What happens to the other girl? You see, uh, oh. <laughs> one thing Peter Eastgate has done is uh, he sort of sent out a message that uh, don't be raising his blinds unless you can be Sorry? stand a re-raise. Look at this, they've got the same hand. Eastgate's got the flush draw. But uh, with the same hand, Annette is favourite to win the pot. You do feel like... Both these players, uh, 5, never these games plays a lot of pots. And and that is she somewhere between uh, all in and call? I, I think it's just going to raise. I, she, I don't think all in, but I think she will raise. I'll be stretching in a minute on the wall. Again, out, my psychic abilities very sharp. She might have felt like she had an awkward ha uh, stack to stick in a raise and <laughs> and have to pass for a re raise yeah, or something. <laughs> Can't imagine anybody likes that card. Well, it's a scary card, Peter Eastgate. Annette's got the momentum because she's last to act. <laughs> He's really hard headed, isn't he? Fair play to him. Yeah. For betting. <laughs> I'm warning him. <laughs> I mean, what? What sort of level is Annette thinking at right now? Is this that? Uh, well, this is, is a bad whether she has the best. Yeah. I think she would. She felt that she was ahead on the flop. She didn't think that Peter Eastgate would have limped in with a big hand from the small blind. She thought she was ahead, but this is horrible. You know, the, all Eastgate has done is complete the small blind. He can easily have a three. He probably doesn't have a flush, but he can easily have a three. Right, and if she's making, going to think about making a raise here, Vicky, it's, it's certainly only uh, to try and make a bluff of what she feels like must be the worst hand, that Eastgate can fold a lot at this stage. Yeah, they have almost identical chips. She's called. Wow. Well, maybe she, uh, maybe she thinks she's winning, but she doesn't want to risk making a huge <laughs> pot against a draw. It's funny, it's a split pot, and both players would be delighted to split it now. They have to both be convinced okay. they're losing. Check. Oh, he's getting checked it. Oh, and Annette's checked behind. They are both going to be relieved. Split pot. <laughs> Who missed the opportunity there? Was it Eastgate, perhaps, Annette? Well, I think... I think Eastgate should have bet the river. When he didn't, I wonder if Annette missed the opportunity yep. to, to try and take it away herself. But Perhaps the specter of Devilfish's we'll short hours. stack <laughs> hung over both of them. Maybe. Maybe. Probably just try to check it down, I think. Okay. I, don't know. I think Annette's plan from the flop uh, I think that like seemed to be to, to call all the way with the sixes, although... You know, she couldn't know how marginal it was that the, 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 the bet on the river would have driven like out an identical hand. About a level and a half have been played, Vicky, and uh, JC just still walking away with this. So we're kind of bunched between Roland and Annette and Peter. Yeah, Roland's looking good. I mean, that is the, the value of the tight game. Roland's played very tight, bet with a few big hands, and he's, he's right up there in second. He's uh, he's low stacked right now, the Devilfish. But I have to say, I'm quite impressed with how he's taken it so far. Yeah, it's absolutely to his credit that he hasn't it's got upset. Study. He hasn't blamed the dealer. Pass. Study. Pass. There you go, bro. Hello. King Dewey. Yeah, but he's the first in. Much better than calling with King Seven. See, this is where with the short stacks, actually, Devilfish and being first to speak has the advantage because he... Cool. Cool. Wow. Well, <laughs> I know my king is good anyway. The king's definitely... I know it's good. As <laughs> soon as you study for one second, I know my king is good. So we've got the best of it at the moment. Anyway. Well, he's right about that. I mean, 
I guess Andy, th <laughs> he, he's taking a chance here to, to knock the Devilfish out. The good news is, of course, he's not all in. The bad news is if Devilfish's hand holds up, Andy's going to be really against the wall there. Oh, oh dear. Uh, there's a pair of each new spades out there again. The fish needs a deuce or a king. Down to thin and slim is the fish, the deuce, the king. Don't stand up yet, Dave. Think positive. Walk away, don't Think positive. It's a, I'm used to it. Oh. <laughs> well, that actually hasn't changed anything. I mean, it's still the same number of outs, isn't it? That's just like a blank, really. Yeah. No, you often lose. Just cruel because it looked like it could be a king. The picture flashes. It's a bit of paint. It did. But no. King or a deuce. Yes, bed would have been a lot better. Is there hope? Thanks for coming down. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Oh, again, right. nearly Take a deuce, fish. but not. So and again, once the again, the fish, you know, he hasn't done anything <laughs> wrong, Jesse. He's done nothing wrong. He, he'll feel that it's just the fates conspiring. So this Premier League, like, barely wait. two levels old in Devilfish already since. fighting out of a corner, Vicky. Zero That's points good. through one heat for him. It's incredibly cruel. Of on the back situations, if we had a look back in time, I probably won about 15%, you know, and lost 85%, you know. So, um, and really, if you can't win them, you can't win these ones. Well, the first crack in the armor of the Premier League, it's Devilfish out. Do you expect the action to speed up now that uh, the points will be given out a little more liberally? I think it's been pretty fast. It does right now look like Roland is still a bit Story in the shell. He has not everyone sort of uncoiled his third gear. It's still locked up tight. I like the way Roland's playing. He's building on the uh, lessons he proved last year about not getting too crazy too early. JC Tran, however, different story. Well, I mean, after Eastgate showed uh, JC the 3 8 offsuit uh, last time, cannot. Uh, Cannot help but call. And look, remember last time Eastgate had second pair, he had two nines and he bet it. He's going a different route this time. And of course, JC Tran is uh, got it. He's got the flush draw. 10,000. Peter can't beat much, but he's called this bet. Now, I wonder what, he's what the intentions are here to reevaluate on the river. I mean, there's absolutely no card on the river that he's going to like. He may be intending to hit a jack. He better hope it's not the jack of diamonds. I wonder if JC has got another bullet here. This is Peter Eastgate's head has gone a bit from the hand before. You know the way he played second pair nines last time. He ended up losing a lot of chips, so he's trying to play it more slowly. And uh, well, Tra Tran has checked it on the end. It's interesting. I mean, I know it, the nines are the best hand, but it didn't seem like there was any way Peter could win this pot. But now look at this. He thinks he has to bet to win it. And he's got. Right? Ah, this right. is the, f the first mistake from, from JC Tran, the first uh, the slight miscalculation. He thinks that uh, Eastgate's got a hand, he can't pass. Well, I could have had a jack. Yeah, he, he seemed to think it was a king. I mean, <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't think Eastgate was sick enough to call him yeah, with the intention of bluffing the river. And to be honest, neither did I. Yeah, not that it made any difference, yeah. But, but uh, 20G, there was like... 259, it's not that far from half the chips in play, which kind of makes things fun, of course, because uh, the difference point-wise between second and fifth is getting two points or six points. It's big. There's a lot of infighting. The person who's second in chips still has less chips than they started with. That's amazing. I don't think we've ever seen that before. Such a monstrous lead early on. I need one point. Raise 10,000 total. All in. All in. Yeah. And uh, JC Tran Press. clearly felt here, Vicky, 40, like it was time to step it up, but uh, yes. yeah, so he's picked 40, up the real hand. Or 30. Mm -hmm. Are we at the re raise all in stage of things? Four, 10. I think they've got to try and play hard against JC Tran because he's got double the chips of his nearest opponent. They can't just roll over. It was a massive re raise by Andy. It was uh, 12 up to about. You know, JC Tran's got 260,000. If he makes it, you know, 8,000 to go, he's not going to be scared off if you make it 15,000. They have to stick it in. Pass. 
pass. Here, here goes the 20%. Okay. You better have another pass. 20% joke coming. Oh. And I'm guessing that this call from Andy Black is a check. sort of a lift yeah. re-raise type of thing, perhaps. Maybe he's trying to disguise his hand. I mean, he's got to think this is a good hand when they pass around with the small blind. I might have raised it by Randy purely because Roland has played so tight in this game so check. far. Check. Um, but as it is, he's up and down. The wolf. Yeah, he could have bet there if check. Roland wanted check. to on the on the flop. He could have bet the turn. Well, Andy doesn't need it. Oh, there we go. Check. Just a pair for Roland, and he can certainly check now and turn it over. Five. <laughs> That's an interesting four parts. Andy it? played that a little quietly for someone who was up against, uh, and I don't often say this about Roland, the tightest player at the table. Yeah. Yeah, how friendly we are. Friends. Play like Most friends. Friendly. Nice and friendly. I think he should get a penalty for that. Should we get a ruling? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, ten minute penalty. Okay, call it. <laughs> we'll let you off for eight minutes. That's only uh, like two hands anyway. Pass. He gets mad at me now. Raise to fifteen thousand total. Here comes Pass. the wolf. He hasn't played many and uh well, now, ordinarily, they would respect him because he's played so few hands, but these guys... Probably too big, even against the Roland Rays? They're too big. Can you leave me alone? Does she... Well, I mean, how many options does she have here? Can she call? Can she fold, or is it an automatic all-in? Yeah, well, I think she can call. She can almost fold, but not quite. Not quite. She's a asking for a count. The... Uh, Seventy-seven thousand more. Yeah, there's seventy-seven thousand back, uh, which would be a big re-raise. She knows that Roland has had the sort of the least. Yeah, she's got. She got the All chips in first. I, Pass. And what sort of decision is this from Roland? Had a bad feeling at the start of this hand. I think he probably uh, he probably has to but call uh, it, but. Uh, he knows that he's demonstrated well, a tight image. He knows she doesn't have nothing, but I think he has to call. He has to. He has to call, he has to hit. I usually have a good feeling when I'm flipping, but... Oh. That's a good flop for net. The flop. <laughs> Two cards. Oh, the nines Give are going to stand up. Movies. Gotta be the ace or queen, or rolling, getting two points. I think it's there, actually. <laughs> queen of clubs. Wow. I had a bad feeling. Knocked over the We lost another player. Yeah. Should've just folded. Sorry. Good All game. Buddy. Good luck. Later. Later. <laughs> He'll be next. <laughs> <laughs> well, so oh, far, yeah. Yeah. the old dogs have no tricks. The uh, returning Premier League players, the wolf and devil fish out. And it's JC Tran and Annette for the money right now. Each of these four now guaranteed at least three points in the league totals, which is not bad. But uh, Eastgate and Black on the ends and on the bottom right now, chip-wise, Vicky. Pass. Yeah, I mean, funnily enough, in that pot, Pass. they were probably both funking for Roland just because, uh, you know, on the form so far in this game, Annette's the more dangerous player with the chips. Raised to 16,000 total. Trend. Putting a little bit of pressure on AB. All in. We raise all Oops. in. That is not what he wanted to hear. No, I think that's the first time actually we've seen Jay Z Tran get really out of line. That's the worst hand he's raised with. And, uh, unlucky, unlucky timing. Another nice. monster. And he'll have no problem going through the gears here. How many chips do you have, Andy? Do you want to count? Uh, just like 30, 40, 50. I don't know, 30. Yep. Annette seems to be struggling mightily with the fact that everyone's chip count isn't sort of printed out on a monitor in front of her. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, you're allowed to ask, aren't you? <laughs> I think she's uh, reasonably familiar with the live game. <laughs> Pass. She's a million pound winner here in London. The World Series of Poker Europe. Race to 16,000 total. Pass. And... Oh, oh. This is two opening raises in a row for J.C. Tran, and twice now he's gotten re-raised all in. Um, 
Now this what? What? Maybe Forty something. I mean, he's really unlucky, but there's only four of them there. There's not yeah. supposed to be kings out. Well, it's really a question of what Eastgate's range is here. Would Eastgate range with any re-raise with any two face cards? He hasn't demonstrated um, that so far. He might raise with any two cards, but re-raising all in. Fifty-one thousand more. He hasn't yet been seen to do that as a, a, a you know, as a bluff. Ace three, not the best hand to take on a re-raiser with either, is it? It's not terrific. Of course, but Eastgate's got Ace Queen. Ugh. It's fifty-one thousand to win eighty-six. Oh, how much? Oh, wow. Whoa. An idea that sort of right now Peter Eastgate and, uh, and Andy Black w are uh, sort of Red looking to put <laughs> leather to metal. What, obviously what went through JC Tran's mind is that Eastgate was just trying to take him off it, trying to pick up the raise, but... Yeah. I feel good about this hand. <laughs> it's 30%. It, it is any ace. Oh. Welcome to Peter East. <laughs> <laughs> that pretty much decides that. Queen Jack. You're <laughs> in deep trouble. Ah, to be 22 again. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, nice uh, that's it. And uh, interesting restructuring the, of the dynamic at the table now. <laughs> because, <laughs> you know, suddenly Annette's the big chip leader. Well, you're absolutely right, Vicky. I mean, I mean, uh, if there's one guy who's going to be really upset to only take uh, away like three points here, it's J.C. Tran. Uh, after the position he was in, is he going to feel like he made a slip up here, or is it just? Uh... Well, look, he doesn't know Peter Eastgate very well. J.C. Tran watched some of the World Series final table. He saw some of the guys' hands. He doesn't know how Eastgate plays a, a six-handed one table. Nobody does. You know, the guy is so new on the scene. He's decided in that situation that Eastgate Raised is capable of coming over the top with. You know, a wider range. Pass. You know, he's walked into kings. It can happen. Pass. Oh, there he goes, Peter oh. Eastgate. What was he just called? Yeah, the raise was up to, I think it was nearly a mini raise, up to about 14,000. Yeah, he's just called. I'm looking at a flop. These guys, they're, they're both fairly deep. And the straight draw versus the top pair. Okay. Yeah, he checks it. Eastgate, he thinks this aggressive player will follow through. What do you think? Check to raise, check to call. Of course, she can hit a nine, you know, for the straight. She doesn't have no hand. It's not a bad flop for her, given the way things sit. Jack 10 to him would be nasty. Do you feel like Annette's the kind of player that, if she raises before the flop, all she's in. All in. she's betting on the Pass. flop every time. And that all in from Eastgate, that was that was nearly a topper bet. That was about 20 plus 100K. Yeah, Ooh. well, again, you know, they don't want to get tangled up with, with Annette. He wanted to close it down quickly. Cool. This has now become sort of a habit for Eastgate. Now limping on the butt instead cool. of raising. What's yeah, the is. idea, do you think? Well, I think he feels that when he's been raising, these aggressive and you know slightly more experienced players behind him have been winning the pots and he's lost too much money. So he's keeping it smaller to begin with. Three, four offsuit. Basically, if you're calling with that, you're calling with everything. Maybe he's trying to set something up for later as well. I personally have, have okay. never put in a lot of money with four high. Is it time to reevaluate? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's Tran with the straight draw. Net, of course, has the best hand. Pass. Well, that's not beautiful either. Look at that, she gives it up. It's, uh, it's uh, quite a few times that JC has sort of found ways to win pots that other players might not have. He's. It seems to me like his post flop play is really, really good. Yeah, well, he he does generally, yeah? you know, okay. that's one of his great strengths. He generally does have a very good sense of where he is. That deserted him when Eastgate was all in with, right? the with the kings. Master, two hands. Oh. A couple more hands in the three and six thousand level before the blinds hit five and ten. Average stack right now, 150,000, and three players are Pass. around that Pass. number. Black cool. just a little bit down. Let's do it. No race. We've seen a lot of limping in the small blind, haven't we? We haven't done this one before. Nope. I'm going to check. Well, what you say? Black's check. improved. Check. check. It's interesting, isn't it? Andy Black doesn't want to get 
Hamstrung by another weak ace in the hand of JC Tran. Okay. He's just checking it down. Yeah, JC has a lot of reasons to believe his fives are good right now. I think. Oh. 6,000. Yeah, that's cool. exactly. you got a seven? Yeah. Oh. Good hand. <laughs> you have yeah. a seven? Two fives. Oh. Two fives, yeah. I thought I was well, I knew I had to be an under pair when you said that. I thought I was do so. I thought I was all you bet. Three levels have been played, Vicky, and actually it's quite tight at the top. Yeah, well, that Eastgate has regained some ground, pushed Tran into third place. You wouldn't have predicted that a few hands ago. Really all to play for here. Difference between fourth place and first, seven points. I get the feeling that now that it's four-handed, the blinds have gone up. Th this is sort of the, um... Pass. This is the crux of the game. This is where there's going to be a lot Race. of play. This jockeying from fourth to... Three. Three rays oh. all That was a quick decision from Andy. That's a pretty Pass. easy decision. Yeah, well, funnily enough, I think if Andy hadn't done that, maybe P3 Skate might have done with the Ace-8. Yeah, and if, and if Tran hadn't have played the King-7, you could see Black and Eastgate playing it all in here, for sure. But Tran, who had the... They had sort of a rotten experience with calling the re-raise against Eastgate. How does he feel against Andy? I think he's going to pass this. I think he is going to pass. It's Although, you know, the decision he clearly made about Eastgate was this was a player capable of coming over the top with no hand. He may feel he was wrong about that, but... He may still think the same of Andy Black. You know, this is the, they're two different people. He's getting nearly two to one, Vicky. I mean, if he's against two random oh, cards, he's not that far from a price. <coughs> or, you know, no, uh, he's managed ace to something. He's <coughs> evaded it. Now the Premier League begins. Defending champion Andy Black. The Irishman spent five years in a Buddhist monastery in the 90s after crashing out of poker. He's been known to blow up at the final hurdle, but took down the Premier League title last year. In, in 1997, my first uh, attempt at the World Series of Poker main event, I finished 14th. Yeah, gutted. It was as if my whole life had been just ripped apart, taken away from me. There was nothing left. There was no meaning in the world. I realized I was going to quit. I was burnt out. I was gone. It was over. You know, I couldn't lift up another hand of cards. I was too, my head was too gone. It was actually over a period of five years that I didn't play poker. And then 2005, uh, yeah, there was, you know, obviously, <laughs> there was, you win 1.75 million and it makes a bit of a difference, you know. Well, I've actually gone all the way through this format. I've gone all the way through this particular tournament and I've won it. So in some senses, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be very, very difficult to beat me if I actually manage to do a lot of the same things I did the last time. It's the same old bullshit, the Premier League. She got the bag again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the new blood has lifted the bar through the roof. This season's going to rock the poker world. Talk about confidence. I mean, Andy, I mean, he was like a puddle of, of green water after the first three or four hands of this Premier League. Yeah. Now his confidence is back, isn't he? Oh, it's all chirpy, chirpy, cheap, cheap now. And J.C. Tran, who found a lot of Race. nice conversations Race about the, the weather in the World Series of Poker before, has Come gotten on. his game Re face on. In. Second time, re-raise all in. Yeah, now, Pass. this time... Pass. Tran would be right to call. Would be right, but isn't there that sort of thing about the second time he does it, he really has to have something? Oh, okay. well, he doesn't have nothing, but JC Tran's decision is whether or not Andy Black can make this move with a wide range. I mean, last time it was Ace King, but I, I'm not sure if he can keep letting them do this, Tran. You know, having lost the momentum of the chip lead, I don't think he can keep raising and giving it up for a re-raise. I mean, the horrible thing for JC Tran is that he's got himself into this position at all. You know, he had 260,000. Everybody else had less than 100. And he just, how quickly things change. You got me covered. They can now put him under pressure. I don't know. When they count these down, I believe they're going to find that 
the stacks are yeah, nearly good. identical. JC might have four or five thousand left. I mean, what are the tactics of the of the Seven league point. format say here? It's almost forty. Um, I don't think you can think about the tactics of the league format here. I really don't. I think Tran has got to restrict his decision to what kind of hands will Black make this move with. Oh man! I mean, right now, if you're if you're a net or Peter Eastgate, you're definitely funking for him to make the call because basically. If Black and Tran play an all-in pot, one of them's going out. And it's probably oh, Tran, yeah, because Black's history in the races he has I called. I think it's the right call, but I think Andy Black is in form, and he's going to hit. It is Black all-in, but, you know, it's there's not much in it. And the winner of this pot will be the chip leader. This is a big race. There's no ace, there's no nine. The pair is har. If Devilfish is watching, he'll say it. he'll probably hit the hearts. Oh, oh dear. He's uh, given Andy a plethora of outs. Don't want a seven. There's Tran still two to, to one against. Black card, small black card required yeah. for JC Tran. Uh, I like my chances of the board pairing. Wow. All right, let me count. The sevens hold up. 40, they do, and uh, they're going to count these down to be sure, but Vicky, it looks like the defending champion is going to walk with only three points in his back pocket. If this is an indication of the quality of this year's Premier League, it hasn't just been infused, it's been supercharged. The three returning players who are in this heat, it looks like they've gone out. One, two, three. I had a bad feeling about it. I maybe should have just called with the ES9, but it's hard, you know, the binds are 510. You pick up ES9, you know, normally you'd expect to be ahead. He calls me with the sevens. Nothing hits, you know, so. All the new guys sort of uh, won all the coin flips against the old guys. So Just three now, and one will be taking ten points. This new blood, Vicky, in this Premier League has really made the superstars look humble. Superstars of the old Premier League. It would have been, it would have been back to back years. It's like uh, three new kids turn up at school, and they're all made into monitors. And they've all played very uh, differently to get here. These three, cool. so far this evening. I mean, it's a. Uh, Annette seems to have a more selective style. This is a new gear for Annette, crafty. It is, isn't it? Just it is. calling with the ace queen. Well, in fact, I think she could afford to raise just because she has an aggressive reputation and he might have fought back with that hand as it happens. He wouldn't have. Point wise, Vicky, three handed, we've reached a sort of a new bubble. Look at that. That's oh. straight on the turn. <laughs> Unfortunately for her, JC's got nothing at all. Yeah, she's. She's not to know that 14, she has absolutely no hope of getting any action here. Unless JC's brain goes on a bit of a walkabout. I think I'm uh, folding. Yep. It would have been funny if you called, because then you had a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm falling away, I raise. <laughs> And this three-handed, uh, and that's going to start moving up. I feel like she's very aware of the different uh, strategies here. And obviously, four points guaranteed for the three players, but four to six, six to ten. This is a chance to really get your Premier League off to a momentous start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting ten points to begin with is, you know, it gives great flexibility. I imagine. So. On that basis, yes. if there is going to be an all-in pot cool. here play, played between two people, you kind of, you want to be in it, don't you? I, I think you can afford to gamble at this point, you know, four points is perfectly healthy. If you're out, you're out. Gamble to get the ten. They both got something. Okay. Straight draw versus the pair. Fourteen thousand. And if JC wants to put a little raise in here, I think he could win the pot. Yeah, I think he probably was check raising when he checked the flop because, you know, he can't have been check cool. passing. Well, he's, he's, he's called. Where does Eastgate have him right now? I'm not really sure. Does it's hard for JC to get paid very much if he does make a straight. Check. Oh, no, but is Peter going to fire another bullet? Does he think he's bluffing right now? Does he think he's ahead? I think he probably thinks he's behind. He probably thinks that Tran's got a jack. Because he doesn't have top. He's either got a jack or a draw, and there aren't that many draws. 30,000. Red splash. Be interesting to 
grab Peter Eastgate now and ask him, is that a bluff or is it a value bet? The one thing he's done is ask the question. Really, the only the only thing that matters right now is what JC thinks about it, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, does JC think Peter is capable of having an ace here? Pass. I think he does. I think he does. Good. He decided that Eastgate isn't going to throw the hand away. And, uh, you know, it was a good play from Eastgate. It was a good play. He did, he did well. Keep betting his eight, see what happens. Probably would have passed for a raise, but he wasn't obliged to make that decision. I know what you know, and what Eastgate knows is not the money. <coughs> I couldn't have found a second bullet there. I mean, I mean, I know I'm a coward, but could you have found a second bullet there? Eight, three, bottom pair. I don't know. I don't think when I looked down at the eight, three, I would ever have had a plan to win a huge pot with it. <laughs> yeah, you've got you to take a view as the hand progresses. Annette, right now, on the short stick. Yes. But it's not that short, you see, because they've oh. knocked out a player. They've now, there's more manoeuvre. Ranging okay, between 50 and 25 big blinds each. Looks like she's taking that deep breath. She's so capable, isn't she? <laughs> We've already seen her re-raise with a 5-8. I mean, yeah. I mean, it just it just looked like Lauren? that. It just looked like that, didn't it? She's so good. Well, Eastgate can't begin oh. to imagine that his hand is best. Well played and net. Do you think Peter's saying to himself right now, when will I learn? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, what does she have to do? Does she have to hit him over the head with it? <laughs> well, I mean, I was going to say, he's got an awkward position. But I don't know what position I'd want to be in with these two. <laughs> Obviously, with Annette's style, she is going to get caught uh, quite a few times making a move against big hands, isn't she? But is that is that the risk and reward of the game, Vicky? I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, she loves poker, well, and you've got you've got to risk getting caught sometimes. I mean, you were talking about yeah. small ball. She's not really a small ball player, is she? Not really, no. You know, unless, really. unless the ball's like one of those Guinness balls of twine. Although, we saw how she just limped with the ace-queen. You know, she did absolutely everything she could to try and get J.C. Tran to put the chips in. Unfortunately, he would not be persuaded. Peter reduced now to Check. limping from the button Check. yet again. He's got a straight draw. And he's got the... I wonder if he's got the Check. image that he could have the best hand here. 14, I think Tran might be able to call this, you know. It's like, I mean, you could say to yourself, Pass. would Eastgate limp with an ace? The fact is, Vicky, he's doing so much of it that sooner or later he's going to have a big hand there. He is sowing a few seeds of confusion, isn't yeah, But you see, next time he'll raise. I mean, he limped there because he just lost a pot to a net, but now he's won a pot. The next time he'll raise. This is my prediction, anyway. But we have seen him limp with aces in the past, so JC Tran is not wrong to rule it in as a possibility. In a way, I would say Peter Eastgate is quite unreadable. I'm not necessarily going to come away from this any better at being able to work out what his cards are. I'll be able to predict what his betting pads are going to be, but it doesn't mean I know the hands. Friday, right, yeah. so uh, two days ago. I guess sort of in the, Didn't go to the party? bigger picture right now. JC here is so just quite happy uh, with his chip stack, which is slightly uh -oh. above average. The truth of the situation is that. These three are nearly dead Turn level. It's going to be really fun control. to see who grabs it from here and why. I'm all right. Wow! Now this time he may call. He may call this time. Oh, he's got to okay. call, does he? Or is it too big a re-raise? I call. Yeah, call he's got to call. He's got to call. You know, and, and Eastgate's called there never really considering that he could be up against an undercard as well as an overcard, but he is. Or was he considering that that could have absolute... I, I don't know if he, he was just thinking, I'm not going to be pushed off it again. I'm just not. This is a reasonable hand. This is yeah. the danger of Annette's game, isn't it? Turn again. I had a good, I had a good feeling with my, my ace three also. Ooh, oh, yeah. the five now did, working for, sure. for Annette. He, he just flopped top set. Me again. Overstart <laughs> is all in here, and like unless no the five sweat. or the ace comes, she the will be out third. It's going to be the five. Ooh. Five or an ace needed. He would have to redraw. Yeah, that's true. 
Oh, so nearly. So close. Nearly. Close. But I mean, she's played fantastically Kenny, well. I think she's sure going to be making a big statement on this tournament. Not positive, but I think so. I think you're right. I think she's going to feel on balance pretty good with no, four sure points from the first tee. I, listen, what's she going to do? You know, she's she's getting aggressive okay. three ways. Absolutely the right thing to do. She had an ace in her hand most times. Peter East Gate's been passing. This time he had 70. Cool. That you know, I don't think she's. Done, I don't think either of them has done anything wrong there. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think and that is going to be in great shape over the matches. And for Eastgate, he was the first player all in at this table. In a race, had a chance to be knocked down six. He'll be chip leader now. And uh, Annette taking her four and bagging it. All right, kid. As long as you don't get off to a really bad start, I don't mind at all because I know it's really easy to turn it around. Like getting third and then getting like second or first, for example, then you're almost guaranteed a, a place in the finals. So. You no, know, like third place isn't too bad. You've got you to it? love this. There's yeah, new blood so. in this Premier League, and it is pounding hot and heavy. Welcome to the world yeah, funny, of Peter right, Eastgate, Vicky. Like, the World the Series of Poker for, Champion produced, has been unblemished in the races real. and takes a he chip lead into the heads he up he against the American J.C. Tran. So, like, Fantastic and, start for J.C. Tran. They slip back a bit in chips. Could be another notable victory for young Eastgate. You see, JC Tran has never really been below his starting stack here. Eastgate has been up and down like a seesaw. The youngest world champion. In his World Series of Poker victory, he Eastgate uh, produced a demolishing of Ivan Demidov over about 130 oh. hands. I feel like JC Tran's going to be a little bit of a tricky customer, though. Yeah, they say he played brilliantly in the World Series of Poker, and, you know, I'm talking about poker these, players, right? bitter people. They love to right. say oh, someone played goes. badly and got lucky. They'll admit Eastgate played a great game. I wonder if it's too early for Tran to have revenge on his mind for his friend Chino Reem, who was at the final table with Peter Eastgate. That was a limp, uh, limped pot. Yeah, and, he uh, could have uh, checked, checked the river. Checked fold from Peter on the flop. Well, it was funny, when he went all in, like, he, he fought for, like, 30 or 45 seconds and then the way he set all in it was like oh, he knew he was losing but he couldn't like he couldn't check fault <laughs> it was yeah. too fair but uh, you wouldn't probably bet him all in you probably he checked you might have bet like uh, I would you bet, probably put, put him all in, in. Yeah. yeah I didn't know how much he had left but he had 8 million left and there was like oh, 20 yeah. million in the pot they're talking right now about the last hand of the world series when Eastgate made the straight on the turn with the ace five yeah, and uh, Ivan Demidov had deuce four for two pair. You know, people say poker's all about bluffing, but once again, the World Series ended on two huge hands going up against each other. There's yet to be a pre-flop raise here. Uh, in the heads up. And it's JC, excuse me, Eastgate from the button with the top pair, is it? Top pair, seems. Yes. Eastgate definitely capable heads up of playing a little bit of small ball against Demidov. It really was death of a thousand cuts. You guys didn't have any all-ins, like, beforehand, did you? No. Nope. Mm. Your mouth to God's ears. Exactly the point that JC Tran is making. Little pots, unraised. That's how that World Series went. And Vicky, uh, JC... Where's Peter? JC um, sort of said... Uh, when I was talking to him, I've heard him say in a lot of interviews that he kind of feels like his style of play now is to sort of let the game come to him. When he won his World Series bracelet this year, he was five at a five to one chip disadvantage when they reached the heads up. So I don't think he'll be. Raise twenty-two thousand five hundred. I'm on it. Oh my gosh! I was gonna say I don't think he'll be uh, scared of playing uh, at a chip disadvantage, but that was a hammer shot from Peter Eastgate. Queen yeah. nine suited. Yeah. What's what do you what do you make of that? He was right. Well, I like it. You know, I mean, he, he could make a smaller raise and then have to play a pot, but uh, you know, it's not the crown jewels, queen nine. I like it. He's mixing it up. But Maybe it's because JC sure had just of, commented yeah, that in the yeah. World Series he didn't it's raise okay. all that much. Yeah, well, 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 Perhaps he just immediately they, decided to be counterintuitive. Well, yeah. the chips right now such and that. Nine Peter kind of does have a free shot. It's about two to one, four hundred to two hundred. So Eastgate could play a race, lose it, and still be well in it. 
Here comes an unraised pot. JC Tran with the Queen Nine, just checking it. And Eastgate found that hand, he went all in. Check. Not much for either. Check. A 10 would hit Peter quite nicely. A 9, on the other hand. Ooh. This is a really a death knell Check. here for Peter. Yeah, I mean, Peter's got the straight okay. draw with his 9. And how has, why has JC checked here? Has he checked to induce a bluff? Has he checked to raise? Has he checked to just let Peter get at it? Cool. I think he's checked to call. You know, he doesn't know exactly yet what Eastgate's up to. Well, this is what you said earlier about JC Tran likes to let the game come to him. He's not forcing it. I think if Peter bets here, it's going to be a bet, a value bet. I think he thinks he's ahead here. He does think so. JC Tran's going to flat call. Call to win the pot, and that's Call. what he's done. Yeah, Peter Eastgate will be surprised. The way that action went, he will be surprised to see that he's not in front. That's the second time I bet, well, you bet the... Yeah, the time. no, I, I, <laughs> when you bet that, I was like, you know, he, he has a, he has at least a seven with, a, like, a big kicker. Uh, right after I won it. Which is good. Yes. Yep. It's often what they Let say. What's the first thing you do after winning stuff. the World Series of Poker in $9 million? Change your phone number. <laughs> 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 Raise 25,000 tokens. You can change it as many times as you like. There's certain people who'll still find it. <laughs> Most of them play at the Vic. Yeah, close <laughs> friends of mine. Well, he has two horrible hands doing battle. Yeah, Eastgate's raises to 25 and Tran peeling off the flop, so even though they've both missed, it's not the end of the betting Check. here, is it? Check. No, well, I, I'm not sure what Tran had in mind with the call. But they both check the flop. I mean, can he can he think that? Well, <laughs> maybe he had that in mind. Check. There, there check. is this idea, mm -hmm. isn't there, where Peter, in Peter's mind, when JC calls before the flop, he has to start giving him credit for perhaps having a massive hand. Um. Yeah, Eastgate had a free chance to hit a jack on the river. It didn't thousand. come. And uh, obviously this is a, a, a pass. Done. See, that's Says nice for JC Tran, actually, because in betting, he doesn't have to turn over the 10 6, which would certainly have allayed some of Eastgate's concerns about his calling range. <laughs> there not any sandwiches left. Um, 84 hands, the blinds are going to go up, and there's no reason that this has to end quickly, really. No, there's really not. I mean, none of these two are, are really wild, crazy players. You know, one of them raises, if the other one falls or re-raises, they listen, they pay attention. It could take a while. And Trans made a little bit of an inroad into Eastgate's lead. Seven and fifteen thousand. JC, who has the short stack, still has. 17, 18 big blinds. It's, it's not an emergency. Cool. In fact, uh, blinds are, I guess, of the size now where the chip leader is pretty much going to be the guy who wins the next pot. Yeah, there's not a huge gap between them. 15,000. Cool. And this is a little bit different. It's JC taking the lead with no hand here, and Eastgate actually calling a bit strong. Yeah, well, I think Tran will now Check. put Eastgate on the nine or the Check. four. Yeah, I mean, there's no draws on this board, are there? He's either got your beat or you don't. Check. Now Eastgate's going to make another of his value bets on the <laughs> river. Yes. This one he'll get through. He is. Y you oh, wait, I have a oh, It's not doing anything. <laughs> I'm kidding. Pass. <laughs> if there's one thing you need to be in poker, it's persistent. You can't, you can't let recent results deter you from a strategy, can you? Although, on the other hand, the definition of a lunatic is someone who keeps doing the same thing, expecting a different result. That's not a thing about Peter Eastgate. That's just a... A definition of a lunatic I once heard. I quite liked it. <laughs> I like that too. There's 600 in play, right? Most of them yep. are on a box in, so uh, what's, what's that, Piccadilly Square or what, something like that? Almost? Standing on a box? Yeah, oh yeah Speaker's Corner. <laughs> right. Very convenient <laughs> for the Vic. <laughs> Equal division of lunatics in both cool. places. 
Let's see. All right. JC on the button, All limping right. for 15, and Peter says, let him live. I think both these players are very aware of the how serious this huge gap is between second and first. You know, the extra four okay. points. Uh, yeah, look how hard Annette worked to collect four points. I mean, real hard day at the office for her to get the four. Check. And uh, now, four points will swing. Check. It could be on the toss of a card. But JC's checked this twice now on the button. I mean, uh, <laughs> and he'll feel like he may have checked himself into a loser. Check. Yeah, if ever two pair were hard to bet, it's these two pair. 15,000. I don't know about that bet, to be honest. It's the Pass. difference between guys like that and the rest of us, I guess. I don't know. If Eastgate had a jack, you would have heard about it by then. <laughs> Is there a... Uh, is there anything in this? I mean, uh, do you think one of these two is playing better? If cool. if this went on forever, nice. if they put nine million <laughs> on the table each, who do you like? <laughs> I think they're both playing well at this point. I do too. I don't know who's yes. going to crumble first and start raising Check. before the flop. Is JC going to find a bet here? Check. Eastgate must know he's winning. 17,000. And he's bet... He's bet because he thinks he has the best hand? Yes, I think so. Cool. Now this call by JC, this has to be a call that's prepared to bluff on a lot of river cards, right? If he misses? Yeah, I, don't, I mean, he's got to hit the eight, really, to be comfortable. Well... This is a kind of a scare card, but... I think Eastgate's got to be able to call any bet here with King High. I mean, just felt this one coming. You just felt this one coming, but King High has got some showdown value, doesn't it? It absolutely does. You know, if, if Tran had an ace, he might have mentioned it before the flop. If he had a six, he might have mentioned it on the turn. So, mm, King High. And yet, all Peter can really beat is a buff. You know, at this stage, if JC had an ace, wouldn't he be more comfortable to check? He's going to pass it. He's going to pass it. I think he is going to pass it. He can't quite bear to put the chips in. And yet. It will be a very understandable pass. I'll tell you what, it's going to be huge things for his confidence right now if he does call. It's possible that Tram will ask for the clock and Eastgate will be spurred ah, into making a call. But I... He's got it through. He's yeah, let like it go. King High or something you want to call it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. How good are these guys, Vicky? How good? <laughs> what I love about that is, you know, what King High you're going to call me with? Like that wouldn't that have been good. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, cool. this Check. heat is going to be very yeah, indicative right. of the level of competition right. we're going to see in this Premier League. It's exciting. I think those are polka dots. I think he's been out in the mud. <laughs> 20, Top pair for JC and the straight draw for Eastgate. And how does JC want to play it? Well, on previous spawn, cool. he would just call. Yeah, he, that's what he's been doing, calling along when he hits a pair. And Peter will know he's behind right here, but uh, doesn't mean he's not going to carry on. This pot's now big. Yeah, that's a good card for JC yeah. Tran, though. Time to protect your hand. 30,000. You, you just always feel it's like when you look at Peter, when you look at Annette, that they're never that far away from the all-in, are they? Mm -mm. <laughs> Pot better of at that time, and I think it was good he did. I think so. But the chip lead has actually moved back to JC Tran. It slipped through his fingers earlier, but he's clawed it back. He's earned it. He absolutely has earned it. 
So you got the chip now. Including that? Yeah, I think so. He thinks so. He knows to a cent that he has the chip lead, doesn't he, Ricky? And so does the accountant. Don't worry about that. Looking at the chip histories, this worm, of course, shows both of their travails during this tournament. And you can see, since the heads up started, JC has been steady. I run good against Danish players. You do? Who else then? Oh, now there's a superstition. I don't know. <laughs> well, I think uh, when JC won his bracelet this year, it was, he was no. head up against a, a Dane good. whose name escapes us all. <laughs> right. To 32,000 total. I'll tell you, the Danish oh. had a fantastic World Series. Uh, Jesper Hogard won a bracelet. They made it about four or five final tables. Of course, Eastgate. And this one is a raise before the flop to 32. Which Tran smoothly calls. He's feeling confident, isn't he, Tran? Check. Check. Falling these raises. Pretty dicey stuff right now. Bottom pair versus middle pair. Yeah, I mean, somebody's got to bet something. And, I mean, this has been like clockwork. Uh, JC just letting That's someone else first. do his betting. His bidding. Yeah, and he'll just probably just call again. chances of Peter having an ace here? Very slim. The chances of Peter having some kind of 9-10 or 9-jack or hearts or something, they're oh. more of the risk. But uh, if you wanted to have a bet with me, I'd say he's got 7-9. Looks like it could be a danger card for Tran. Okay. Looks like a card that could have beat him. And Eastgate has to decide if he has more of a chance to check and win or bet to, you know, what hands that are beating him can he get to fold with a big bet? That's the question, isn't it? So far in this spot, you know, he has just he has just checked. I think he's already left it kind of too long. If he'd bet immediately a large amount, Tran might have believed the draw. Check. But yeah, he checks again. I, he feels he's got showdown value, and he does, but it's not enough. And I'll tell you what, inch by inch, JC Tran is putting a huge chunk into Eastgate's armor, he has he has hit him where it hurts and hurt him where it counts. Yeah, I think before JC Tran lost those chips earlier, he fitted them with a homing device. Yeah. It's more interesting. But you're going to play most of the smaller events in the World Series. Yeah. Welcome back sure. to Party Poker Premier League Poker 3. We're playing down mm -hmm. to one. Points given out for every placing. Cool. No race. And you do feel like the wheels must be turning. How many times has this happened, Jesse? How many pair. times? One of them has middle pair, one of them has bottom 000. pair, and this time it's Tran who's got the worst of it. Yeah, this hasn't happened too often where Eastgate oh. has actually been betting with half a hand and it's been the best. Yeah, it's usually Tran who's a pip ahead. Uh, I'd love to see what's going to happen on the turn. You, you feel like Tran's definitely checking. Question is, is Peter betting? Why yeah. should Tran mess with the okay. system? Every time he's just checked gold in this spot and he's won. You know, might as well do it again. Oh, we get a flush. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's really cruel for Peter Eastgate. But, you know, Eastgate, again, that's what he does. He bets the flop, check. checks the check. turn, bets the river, and he flush. does well. Uh, checks the river. He does well this time to check it. <laughs> You're darn right. He did well to check it. It's oh. unlucky, isn't it? But for once, Good when they both hit a pair, Eastgate's in front, <laughs> becomes a flush. Trappy stuff from JC on the river there. There was... It did look like, it did look like Peter might have made a straight there, and uh, See, he had it's tough to check where he's the river. It's really if they ask. Yeah. Well, on that board, that was like, it was you could have valued like a nine or a, mm, try to fire bigger with the king. It is all going his way. It'd be tough to pull the king there too. And Peter Eastgate's got under two hundred thousand now. Cool. Definitely going well enough for JC to smile, and Peter does seem to have his hands full. I think, I mean, right now, Vicky, the answer for him is to just pick up some good cards. 
Sure. Yeah, well, that's often, you know, that's one of my favorite answers in poker. Doesn't always work, though. Please, Lord, just get me lucky one last time. <laughs> yes, that. Check. Check. Well, Check. the queen is good for Tran. Check. Check. Oh, hi. You win. Yeah. You oh. know, and that is, did you, his voice is filled with a little, little frustration. Yeah, the resignation. And you win. Yeah, same as the tone of Devilfish's voice earlier when he said King High. You know, the weariness of someone who isn't feeling <coughs> full of fight right now. In heads up poker, Vicky, if you get too discouraged to bluff, you you're really you're really fighting out of the back corner. Haha, <laughs> a real hand. I haven't seen one of those for a while. Oh, you're right. It's Let's go. This, this is probably that's probably the best two cards that anyone has gotten in this heads up. Yeah, Eastgate had the king queen, that was oh. the king jack of diamonds. That was that's it. true. Ooh, now <laughs> I wonder if Mr. Eastgate might get a little money back here. Well, it's just kind of a cold deck. And I wonder if JC Tran can find a way not to get all the chips in. Twenty thousand. Because there's three hearts out there, shouldn't that give him more of an inclination to raise to protect his hand? It or? should. He should raise here. Cool. No. It's the nine, the jack, the ace. The two pair are good. And it's a question of how much Eastgate wants to bet here. Yeah, Tram might have escaped if it comes a fourth heart, but as it is. I mean, how greedy should he be? Well, I think he's going to get raised to you know, whatever he bets. With 70,000, he could bet 40. Hope to find 47, an 47,000. Bet 47. Because of the way JC's played this hand, obviously there's no way he's going to fold. No way. But you think he may actually raise? I think he might be able to avoid raising, actually. Y you know, th there's a lot of cards that work together out there. say one pair. Oh, yeah, he, no, he's just called. Cool. Yeah, there's, 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 there's some cards out there that work together, and, uh, you know, he hasn't played all of this small ball poker to jam it in with one pair and lose it all at once. That was a nice shot in the arm for the world champion, isn't it? That really was. The Dane, Peter Eastgate, is the current world champion, and $9 million richer because of it. At 22 years old, 21, the youngest ever main event winner, breaking the record held by Phil Hellman. Yeah, there's like a big pressure for me to prove that the final table was not a fluke. But on the other hand, I'm not kind of nervous that I will go for a year without results because I know the variance in poker. And uh, yeah, I already won a million dollars, so I can take the variance for this lineup. There's so many good players. It's a very interesting clash of generations. The old generation should be aware of what what is changing in the game because the, the young guys are kind of like the representative of the new kind of way of playing the game. I'm not necessarily saying that the correct way of playing the game, but the game has changed. I feel like JC's sort of of the opinion that he will never raise before the flop okay. if he has his druthers. 17,000. Raising before the flop is not the characteristic of this particular heads up. It's not oh. happening very much. Now Trans thinking his king high may be good. It's not. Yeah, he's definitely calling for the value of his cards. Check. Wow, now they go. This is a very good first. turn bet from Eastgate. He normally switches off. Yeah, you gotta like this. On the this is very good, very good play. And, I mean, there was sort of, we saw an East, uh, excuse me, a JC Tran before who might actually call here to make a bluff on the river. And I actually think that's amazing. Wow. Oh. This is something he has not shown us. But this is beautiful. How can he escape? Cool. That's a very good turn bet from Eastgate. How can he call? This is the something. Wow. It's almost like JC knows exactly what Eastgate's got here. And knows that uh, that if he's got the deuce of the three, he cannot call. This is absolutely the classiest hand we've seen so far. 
Wow, JC's. You know, Tran, rather than thinking that his king high is good enough to keep calling. He is one tough egg. Yeah. Tran has made two moves in this heads up. Both of them have gone off without a hitch, Vicky. They've been subtle, they've been pretty. Tran's had him on the ropes for some time. You can see, since they started the heads up, which, well, it's about 20 hands old, Tran has taken the lead and not relinquished it. I'm all in. All in? No call. And oh, call. Oh, oh, no! Oh, poor Peter Eastgate. I mean, it, I hope that's, that's the last like time that. he listens to us. <laughs> 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 he did the right thing. It's not his fault the guy is ace king. Oh. Ten big blinds all in with the queen and, well, 29% live. And the rest of the time, Tran's going to have won the first leg. Peter Eastgate luck versus the JC Tran <laughs> luck. <laughs> Ooh, up and down now, one. Eastgate. Eastgate not funking case. the queen no more. He'll take the king or the eight. Or the three. Or this way. Oh, that's bad. The board, there's no diamonds out there. Same cards to win for Peter. Try to board one more time. Peter? That's it. Good game, buddy. Okay. Ace high holds. Eastgate be taking six rematch. points, yeah. but JC Tran, Vicky, uh, what a statement he's made here in this Premier League. I'm very excited with my win. Um, to be able to come off to a, a new type of tournament for me, first time in London, to come out with the win, it's, it's, it's just, you can't ask for much better. I mean, it takes all the pressure off of me now, and, uh, you know, I'm ready to play the rest. Just relax. Considering that I was set up and had a 2-1 to one chip lead, I'm a little bit disappointed, but um, I think I played my closest to the best game I can. Next time, the other half of the field takes to the table, including Tony G, Phil Helmuth, and Tom Dwan. We should have a big side bet this year. This cause more points, me or you. Million dollars. That's what's how big you are. Here he comes, Roland, the pizza <laughs> delivery man. <laughs> Tony G, what list are you on in the top 500 in the world? You're good at telling people to ride bikes. Get on your bike. <laughs>